Welcome to the Arabesque Sewing Studio. I'm Ali Phillips. I'm all about helping you organise your sewing space so you can beat that clutter. And along the way, I'll simplify those tricky sewing techniques so you can grow in your confidence and confidently sew like a pro. Now I'd love to introduce you to my next sewing pattern called the Sewing Space Station. Now this is a sewing machine mat with so much more to it than meets the eye. And we hope you'll enjoy all of our outer space references that we've included in the pattern because we think you'll agree this is really out of this world. So let's untie this and I'll set it up for you and show you everything that's inside. So let's have a look at the features of this space station. So the mat sits under the machine just like any other sewing machine mat does, like you'll notice that this is only hanging down on the right hand side so that it's not in your lap or getting in your way as you're sewing on your project. Now in the front of this tool panel we have a range of pockets that hold all the tools that you need to work on your project. So there's a room for a rotary cutter or even a large pair of scissors. You can have a ruler, you can have a seam ripper, a small pair of scissors, a marking pen, there's room for a whole range of things that you would need to keep at your fingertips. Now, hanging at the bottom of this tool panel, we have a little pouch called the cargo bay. And this is perfect for holding your binding clips if you're working on binding the quilt or tacking other things together. You can also pop spare rolls of thread in here and sewing machine feet if you're going to be switching out that for sewing a zipper. You can pop a whole range of different stores in here this also is detachable and unclips so that you can take this with you and use it for a whole range of different things. Now no sewing machine mat would be complete without a functional cute pin cushion and so this pattern also comes with a little pin cushion called the pin pod. Now this is modelled after a French tufted seat cushion and I think you'll agree it's a really cute little addition that works really well so sitting right at the front here where you can whack a few pins in as you're sewing. So now we come to the really unique part of this sewing mat. So in the top of this mat are four big pockets and these hold everything you need to be working on your project. So when you finish sewing for the day, you're just going to slide everything that you're working on inside of these pockets and fold everything up. And the first one is a large pocket that holds rulers and even a small cutting mat. The next pocket in the middle is an even larger pocket that holds fabric for your work in progress. On the side here we have two smaller pockets. So this pocket is perfect for holding a range of notions and the little small pocket at the front is where we dock the pin pod when you've taken your pins out. Now this pattern is very easy to reverse if you would like to sew a left-handed version. So if you're a lefty like me and you would prefer to have your tool panel hanging on the left-hand side, the pattern pieces are really easy to reverse. 